When Russia decided to start a war against its neighbor Ukraine, it also condemned domestic industries, depending on Western suppliers and manufacturers, to scramble to come to terms with a new, heavily sanctioned day-to-day -day existence. In an unprecedented move, the Russian government has given the OK for aircraft owned by foreign lessors and registered abroad to be re-registered in the country. This maneuver set off a cascade of effects, with some aircraft being impounded. Meanwhile, abroad, legal battles over insurance policies are set to continue for years to come. Let's look at the current situation in today's video. Somewhat surprisingly, on December 30, 2022, state-owned flag carrier Aeroflot announced it had purchased 10 Boeing 777-300ER jets previously leased from an Irish company, which it refused to name. And that is apparently not the last of such deals planned for Russian carriers. As reported by the state-owned Russian news agency TASS, the Minister of Transport of the Russian Federation, Vitaly Savelyev, said on March 15 that the government has set aside more than 300 billion rubles, or $3.918 billion, for the purposes of purchasing foreign aircraft leased by Russian airlines. In a meeting of the Committee on Transport and the Development of Transport Infrastructure in the state Duma, the minister stated, We are trying to buy planes from foreign lessors. This is an issue that we have looked at extensively, and the government has already allocated about 300 billion rubles. Aeroflot has already used the funds to buy 10 long-haul aircraft. Things don't stop there. The Russian government has also allocated 237 billion rubles, around $3.08 billion, for its airlines to take delivery of new domestically produced aircraft. The decision was taken on February 16 and will see the money drawn from the National Wealth Fund and inserted into two government-owned leasing companies, GTLK and Avia Capital Services. The largest part of the investment foresees 34 Sukhoi SSJ new regional jets, 8 in Irkut MC-21s and 11 Tupolev Tu-214 passenger jets, all going to Aeroflot. According to the Financial Times, insurers are facing a quote-unquote mega-trial in London's High Court next year, having refused to pay billions of dollars in claims from aircraft lessors. The world's largest lesser, Aircap, is taking legal action against insurance groups AIG, Lloyds of London and Fidelis, seeking up to $3.6 billion in compensation for 116 stranded aircraft and engines. The Russian government's move to buy out some leased planes should be a relief for both affected lessers and their insurance companies. Indeed, paying for the seized aircraft should theoretically reduce the need for these lessers to take their insurers to court over claims. But what do you think of this move by the Russian government? Share your thoughts by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.